What's going on guys? Evolution here and welcome back to some Days at Epoch. And today guys, me and Ryan are going to be showing off our base. We've pretty much kept it all off camera to be honest. Apart from when we first ever found the location. And it's come a very long way. There'd probably be a lot of changes from what you, well, last would have seen it or expected it to be like or whatnot. But as you can see, this is the familiar dirt road. And I've got to say, I quite like our defence system we got going on at the moment. But anyway, let's, let's head on up Ryan. You ready? Indeedy. Okay, yeah, let's go. So it doesn't look like much from the outside, to say the least, anyway. But it's a different different story when you get in. To be fair, we've been playing the server for just over a week now. And it's not bad. I like it. it I, I, like I, I can it. happily call it home. It's home. We just stumbled across this location in the woods and boom. Here we are. A week later. You unlocked it yet, right? Oh, I thought you was unlocking it. I've got it. Because you've already... There we go. Ah. Sound like we've got some zombie problems in the base, mate. Might want to take them out. Go uh, on, ladies first. Oh, that was, like, synchronised. That was. Alright, where is he then? Alright, let's quickly go get him. <laughs> Can't have no zombies in the base. Uh, like, there take him out. There he is. <laughs> oh, he's crazy. You need a job to do in, just take yourself. Oh, be quiet, mate. <laughs> you quote me on the first episode there, I like it. So anyway, we've entered in through our like kind of concrete compound door. That is the only entrance in the base on the ground, at least. We've got a wall going all the way around. As you come in, we've got kind of our main HQ here. Uh, this is our barn. We've just put a floor across the middle. We've got some... Uh, we've got a gun rack, safes, uh, building materials, supplies and all that. Then we've got the back door out here. In fact, Ryan, do you want to open the back door for me? Yeah, yeah, of course. Close this up for the time being. We'll go out the back way. I can hear you clicking away on the combination lock. There we go. There I'm we go. It. I heard it. Jump, jump. There we go. So out here we just kind of got... Well, it's supposed to be a garage, first of all. But it was, you know, this ain't, it's go big or go home, and this is quite a small gouge if I'm honest, so we we kind of just kept this as a cool back area. It also gives you access around the front to kind of the shooting, well, the front defence system sort of thing. Uh, it's far from finished, but it's, you know, it's it's complete enough to be a living standard at the moment. Then we got, as I said, there's the garage door, because it was, as I said, going to be a garage. And uh, we come round in, and then we got our main actual garage. And then on top we've got the helipad, if I quickly run up top. Here's our helipad with Ryan's heli on it. It's a it's a decent size. It lands pretty large helicopters. But you'd uh, be able to put the biggest helicopter on there, won't you? Yeah. Well, I think the ro the back the back wing would hang off a bit, but um, it would fit on anyway. It fits what we need to fit. Oh, I'm like jumping downstairs and downstairs. As you can see, we've got kind of garage down here. We've only got the one vehicle down at the moment, which is the SUV that we first ever started with. Uh, that's the same SUV from the camoed SUV episode where we brought it. It's still here to this day, you know, lasting us very long. Doing us well, isn't it, Ryan? Yeah, picking up dust at the moment, though. No. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's, it's having a rest, you know, it's done us well. So it's locked away securely in the garage. No one is getting it. Uh, how did this quad bike even get it, Ryan? I don't even know, it's just here. I don't know, stories of quad bikes. Are... I've, we, we've I had a few of them. I'm, yeah. <laughs> Over here, we've got the fueling station, which. I quite like to say I'm impressed with this because I did this when Ryan wasn't on. Well, we went and got the uh, we went and got the truck together when we raided the base, and I set it all up. And I quite like it. It's pretty effective. You just land the heli kind of in this area, in fact, where Ryan's standing, and you can fill your vehicles up, which is quite neat. Uh, we've got our military off-road. This is our latest addition. Uh, well, the helicopters for vehicles. are really, aren't they? Well, yeah, to the land vehicle. Sorry, this is our yeah. latest vehicle which we've been going around. Compared to the SUV, was what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is our latest edition, and then recently, uh, we brought these two helicopters. I've got one, and that's Ryan's up there on the helipad. They're quite cool. They suit me and Ryan really well because they've got six seats. Not that we need the six seats, and it's got the one side gunner, which works well because one of us will be piloting, one of us will be in the gunner. It's it's perfect really it's better than a little bird because the little birds unarmed and I think they're they're cheaper in fact so that's always nice then just over here you know got a toilet you know duty call sometimes <laughs> you just have to get in the toilet do your business if oh. you I would prefer if you didn't look in please run all oh, right okay sorry there we go. thank you much thank you much that's all right let me know when you're done mate uh man I might have to kick this door and I can't seem to get out can you not Oh, let me have a go. I'm not looking, I promise. There you go. Thank you very much. 
that was painful. Bloody, you know, that's the smell. We've got like some massive old log in our base as well. This isn't a tree that's fallen down, it does, it is part of the scenery. It's annoying because this would have been a nice open space. Like a service spawn tree in it. Exactly. And then up top, we've just got a little deer stand, like a little lookout point, which works quite effective, you know, you can see around. But it's it's definitely nice. I like it. It's it's a place to call home. It's not finished, but I just quite like the kind of compound. I've it's got quite a cool defense system. I feel we haven't actually been killed at our base yet. We haven't had any encounters. No one's actually tried to attack us. I mean, I guess we're at the bottom of the hill, which doesn't help. But we're hoping to sort of fill all this area up as progressively we have been. So if we do get in any trouble, there's going to be plenty of stuff to hide behind. Yes. Uh, the next thing to do, I guess, is we're going to put some tents uh, tents around and kind of fill the centre up a tiny bit because it's, it's still a bit emptier than what we like. As I said, we've pretty much just saved all our money up buying them two helicopters. I think that was 1.2 briefcases for them two. Uh, and the last time you guys would have seen the base was, well, in fact, you would have, the last video you would have seen was one we were buying the little birds, which we then went on to use that for a fair while. And then we actually sold it and then bought these two bad boys. So it's been a big jump, but if you guys have enjoyed this tour of the base and you want to see more Daisy Epoch, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Anyway guys, me and Ryan will catch you in the next one. See you later.